Hello, and welcome to the Florida Chamber's Bottom Line. Uh, I'm Mark Wilson, President and CEO of the Florida Chamber of Commerce. And joining us today is a very special guest and friend of ours, Tom Donahue, the President and CEO of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Tom, welcome to the program. I'm very pleased to be here. Good, Good. to be with you today. Well, we're glad you're here, and uh, we appreciate the partnership between the U.S. Chamber and the Florida Chamber. Thank you. Um, you're here today for a few reasons, uh, but you and I spent uh, a good part of our morning uh, in the state capitol today talking about lawsuit abuse and Florida's legal climate with some of our state leaders. Can you share with us why that's so important that we fix that? Well, first, for your viewers, the chamber has a major activity on uh, law, lawsuit reform, the Center for Legal Reform. And we spend a lot of money on it. We've been doing it for almost 15 years. And we have fundamentally changed the law in 13 states. And we have changed the federal law. And it was all based on one concept. And that is class action abuse and mass action abuse was sucking money out of the pockets of productive companies and individuals and giving it to class action lawyers uh, on a basis that uh, was clearly not uh, correct. Uh, now, we rate the states 1 to 50 on um, where they stand on lawsuit abuse or a constructive lawsuit uh, environment. Now, why do we do that? And that is because companies, when they choose where to locate a company, where to put a new plant, where to uh, hire people, where to make investments, check this out because you can you go to the wrong state and you can lose your shirt now florida right now is number 41 out of 50. yet when you go to florida there are so many other positive things that you and your colleagues have been able to get done in the legislature and in the senate <clears throat> that are making it more and more a productive business environment here but the lawsuit environment in this state is keeping a lot of investment away. And if you could follow the lead, uh, if the state would follow the lead that you and your colleagues and the speaker have, uh, have put for us to follow and change some of these issues, the bad faith questions and other issues, you would have a significant increase in companies expanding their business here, uh, coming back here. It would help you with some of the insurance issues it's a fundamental thing that would take you to the next level of making this state so attractive for business, for jobs, and for our fellow citizens. And I congratulate you on what you've done. And I was pleased to go and meet with the speaker and encourage him to keep his chin up and keep going.